A burglary suspect sent Austin police on a wild chase this morning. The man is accused of breaking into a few homes, stealing a couple of cars, and then trying to run over police officers. That's what got him shot. It all started at 5.30 this morning in a neighborhood just south of U.S. Highway 290, but it did not end there. KXAN's Katina McHenry has more on that whole story there. Katina? Robert Leslie, good evening. It is now safe to return home. We are in the Oak Creek Park subdivision, just a couple of blocks from Bowie High School. The suspect, 24-year-old Todd Zurowitz, is in jail, but right now, police crime tape is still up, as you can see, and there are a few officers still on the scene with APD right now. They're still processing the scene. Lots of shots were fired during this incident, and there is still, at this point, no reason why this happened. <laughs> When you hear gunshots early in the morning, it absolutely gets your attention. It happened as the neighborhood was getting ready for Monday. This was a criminal episode involving several different incidents involving the same su uh, suspect. 24-year-old Todd Zurovitz had a busy morning. Police say he started by breaking into a home on Feather Hill Road, just south of 290, stealing a loaded gun and a truck. Police chased him into Mark Adams' neighborhood off Slaughter. Uh, heard some gunshots uh, this morning. Sounded like a pop gun, must have been a pistol. Zurovets crashed here on Sawmill and then stole another car out of someone's driveway. Uh, the driver appeared to be in the process of surrendering and then uh, gassed the vehicle. Uh, in a rapid fashion toward the officers, and they fired shots. The suspect was hit at least twice in the arm. He kept going, though, crashing again. He took off running into a house on Brody. The people who lived there got out safely, but Zurovets wouldn't come out. In the meantime, the neighborhood and nearby Bowie High School went on lockdown. Oh, my daughter is there, and so she sent me a text message that people were basically screaming in the hallways, get into the classrooms, oh get into the God. classrooms. Yeah. And then some of the suspect's family members showed up. This is David Wayne Zurovitz claiming to be the suspect's dad. My son is a hard-headed bohemian from Taylor, Texas. Todd Zurovets finally gave up after police threw tear gas into the house. This subject obviously endangered uh, this community, uh, the community in, the, in Travis County, and is facing, in addition to that uh, felony warrant, additional uh, criminal charges. Well, those criminal charges that Zurowitz is now facing is a parole violation and also evading arrest, which right now has a $20,000 bond. There could be more charges, though, as police continue to investigate this wild incident. For now, we're live in southwest Austin. Katina McHenry, KXAN News.